As that old saying goes, Benavis, Benavis, Taukeshavi, Khoshnavis. Or practice makes perfect. For these Afghan hand students, today perfection means learning Dari and Pashtu. That's, that's your uh, what we were doing today was a language immersion uh, with the Afghan army. Basically, we were uh, matched up with officers and um, they've been teaching us. Uh, the immersion program really uh, kicks the language kind of into overdrive. Uh, if you're out there with with the people and uh, most of them don't speak English so you end up uh, defaulting to Dari and uh, or some of the other guys in the program uh, will speak Pashto and uh, you really just have to <laughs> sink or swim at that point. The immersion program gets the students out of the classroom. And you, you cannot learn somebody else's culture, you cannot be effective in their language unless you really get out there and immerse yourself and practice it. The, the part that you miss learning out of a book and learning from audio is you don't get that instantaneous feedback. When I talk to an Afghan in their language and you see the smile and you see the response and they talk back to you and you actually understand what they said, that's when you truly understand just how important the immersion process is. With this training, Afghan hand students gain more than just being able to say hello. With the cultural knowledge, with the language skills, um, you're accepted uh, a, a whole lot quicker than um, someone who can't uh, can't speak any of the language. We're not uh, we're not translators. We're not linguists, but well, we can go in and we can introduce someone, and we can. Um, we can make sure that they know a little bit about us and that we know a little bit about them. Another old saying. Qatra, qatra, a river is built drop by drop. And with the relationships these Afghan hands help build, the river of friendship continues to grow through a better understanding of each other. Air Force Staff Sergeant Rebecca Goodwin, Kabul, Afghanistan.